Hi all, Mark O'Hare here from Sporting Bet. This is We Love Betting and it's time to talk European football. Um, I'm looking for my best bet from the continent, my nap of the weekend from Europe. Um, and it was a great week for us last week because we got Valenciennes to beat Sochaux um, in the French League, which came up nice and convincingly a 3-1 win. Uh, this week I'm going to Italy. Uh, Pescara are playing Juventus in, in Serie A and that is where I'm going for my best bet. Um, I guess if you're ever going to look for a, a, for a bet where you're driven by price, uh, this for me is it. Because uh, Pescara have been, in my eyes, uh, excuse the, the term, completely mugged off by, by bookmakers and, and possibly punters too, uh, for probably being a little bit unfashionable, a little bit uncool, uh, and coming up against the, the might of Juventus uh, this week. Not for me. Uh, they're 21 to 10 in the double chance market where they'll you'll win if you if Pescara win or draw. If they if they avoid defeat, you win at 21 to 10, and that's absolutely huge, especially for a team at home. Um, yes, Juventus are champions. Yes, Juventus absolutely hammered Norgeland in, in the Champions League in midweek, but domestically they've been far from at the races recently. Um, I'm going to quickly run you through why cracks have been beginning to show recently. Uh, before that last weekend's defeat against Inter Milan, of course, that ended their 49 match uh, unbeaten league run. Um, at home, they went 1 0 up and, and basically laboured, and, and Inter took advantage and, and ran out 3 1 and convincing winners as well. But uh, that was actually their first game in 37 league games that Juventus had conceded more than one goal in a match. So, um, But before then, you know, they played Bologna at home in the midweek match. and. They needed a, a Pogba goal in the last minute, basically the stoppage time, to, to get a victory there. They were very, very poor again. Didn't deserve to win. Um, and the week previous, well, just Google uh, the game at Catania uh, because decisions uh, in Italian football, I'm not going to say too much, but seem to go in their favour. Very, very, very fortunate to get anything from that game. But they won their match 1-0. Um, doesn't quite tell you the whole story, does it? Uh, those who saw it... Um, and okay, that although they've only failed to win once away from home this season, they're unbeaten away from home, uh, and the, the stats might look quite formidable. They're not as formidable as those stats look. Um, quick look at Pescara, then they were Serie B champions last season. They've picked up only one point from their first four match days. They've bounced back three wins, a draw, and three defeats since. They've moved up into mid-table. Um, they've kept clean sheets in three of the last four league games in Serie A. Um, and Juve, of course, are coming off on the, the back of a Champions League midweek. The players have looked tired in Serie A football this week, uh, too, or the last couple of weeks, too. And uh, the pressure is really on after that defeat to Inter Milan uh, at the top of the table. So I'm backing Pescara in the double chance where they'll, if you win or draw, you get paid out. They just need to avoid defeat against Juventus. It's 21 to 10, and it looks a great bet to me from Serie A.